Is El Clasico still a classic? The statistics, the story imbued with the historical value, and the conversation goes down in history to prove the match between Barcelona and Real Madrid is the most attractive match on the planet. According to statistics published by ESPN, the Super Classic attracts 10% of the world's population. It is also calculated that El Clasico is the most expensive match of all sports on the planet. The value of the two super clubs, Real and Barca, according to Forbes, reached $7.1 billion. The transfer price of the two teams' players also passed the $1 billion mark. El Clasico, the great match or the circus circus? In 2017, Barcelona and Real Madrid each pulled out Super Classic stones at 1 o'clock p.m. local time. Now this is an unusual time to know that El Clasico matches often take place at 9 o'clock p.m. local time. This time zone is suitable for the Spaniards to attend the stadium and is also ideal for the players to play in favorable weather conditions. In order for La Liga to attract more Asian audiences, it aims to sell as many television rights as possible. Now for the convenience of the Asian audiences, La Liga's homepage even publishes broadcast hours in specific countries. For example, the match will take place at 9 p.m. in Tokyo, 8 p.m. in Shanghai, 7 p.m. in Jakarta, Indonesia, 5.30 p.m. in New Delhi, 4 p.m. in Dubai, and 3 p.m. in Doha. La Liga began to use the El Clasico game as bait to make money because the Super Classic match with many Spaniards started to become boring. The number of Spaniards watching their national football match is only 2.6 million, a fraction of the 650 million people worldwide. The number of followers is not so high, but El Clasico's television rights accounts for about 16.7% of movie star Partidazio's year-round revenue. Now here's an example to prove El Clasico's hotness in Spain is declining. According to the statistics of the three social networking sites, the number of people who discuss the most about El Clasico are Mexican. Second are Indonesian netizens, followed by Brazil, the USA, Colombia, Indonesia, and then Spain. This statistic published in 2017, and it shows that Spanish netizens rank seventh in the level of chaos when it comes to the Super Classic battle which drops four places from the previous year. This figure most clearly demonstrates that the heat of the Super Classic battle on its own hometown is decreasing. Super Classics still have classics? The gradual decline of the match's popularity caused the La Liga organizers to act. In addition to adjusting the time zone to suit the Asian audience, La Liga also uses El Clasico as a circus circus to perform abroad. Last year, Barca and Real pulled together in Miami, Florida to compete for the people of the flag. It was called a friendly match, but tickets for El Clasico usually sell extremely high, from around $500 to $900 US for a ticket. People also hung banners and other advertising banners for the match as if there was a band on tour. The world once laughed at Italians because the Milano Derby took place at 12 noon local time and brought the Coppa Italy final to the bird's nest yard in Beijing. Such an iconic match is treated like an item, and nobody expected El Clasico to endure the same fate. According to Marca newspaper, the Super Classic battle gradually became devalued for many reasons. One of the main reasons is its professional quality. The Super Classic is expected to be a match of the world's leading professional quality of football. It cannot have a difference ratio as the last three to nothing game or worse than the match that Barca won five to one in October of 2018. The Super Classic is defaulted to be a pure soccer top match, but people even try to integrate politics into it and it's disastrous. One side represents the independence of Catalonia and the other is the Royal Spanish. This forced suppression makes football matches merely the task of conveying political messages. El Clasico, if translated correctly, means super classic or super traditional. But where is the traditional value when the players who resonate with the game are mostly foreigners? The super classic in Barca completely covered the shadows of the South Americans. On the real side, ever since the rings of Raul Gonzalez and Saint Iker Casillas are gone, the indigenous nature of the game is also gone. Perhaps El Clasico needs new players, a new pair of Ronaldo, Messi, and new mindsets to be as great as before.